What's up YouTube boys and girls? I know y'all are missing Jay Young, so that's the best I can do for you guys. Anyway, Michael Michael just pulled up, so let's go take a look, see what he's got. Camera shy for. Yeah, you know some people are. Afraid, uh, they afraid he'd get a fan following. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a building seat. Uh, you know, I was camera shy at first too, so that's okay. It wears off quick. Huh? Now I jump in front of them. Yeah, <laughs> so many people trying to take videos of me, right? <laughs> that's it. What? Right. How's your New Year's? Good. Good. Yeah. Christmas good. Real good. All right. That's a pretty box. Yeah. I can't believe you actually got one on here this week. You ain't sold it before you got here. This is a repo. Uh oh. So I had to take it back. So that's not always a good thing, but. Part of it, ain't it? Yeah, fortunately it is. Man, I just want to show Phil all my green stuff. We need to buy back in a minute, man. Well, we got a special tray for him. You know, he's been looking for one. Now mm -hmm. they got one green. It's one of the new things. Is that magnetic? Yeah, they are. That's a cool deal. Well, I don't know before I say that. I know that one is. Let me check and see if that one is. Yep. Oh, man. That's mine. So, yeah, that one's a new one. And then they come out with one for the people that's got the Rebel and stuff. It's totally magnetic. So, sockets, wrenches, pliers, whatever. That's cool. Right two there. of their new items there. I actually hit them from people that way I could show y'all. <laughs> they are in full force this week though. This, this kind of week they're in full force. That is a really nice setup right there. I really like that green on that one. Like it really that. stands out. I like that. Oh man, you got a bunch of green stuff on Oh there. yeah, I got my rat paint cart with a starter kit back there. Get it. You running a special on that? Yeah, running a special on that. Put some tools in there. Gonna make somebody's day with it. Nice about twenty-three dollars a week. They'll be able to pick that up. Say that one more time. About, yeah, about twenty-three dollars a week. They're gonna be able to pick that up and have them a little starter kit. So somebody that's just out of school or somebody that just got into the business can actually start it up run with it right well that's a bargain so tell everybody what's in it for the 23 dollars so we got the mt 2769 which everybody knows is our impact really stout half inch impact i always put somebody an air impact in there just because we got our dead blow hammer which of course is green because everything else is green db45 on that one we've got our ratchet that's green as well mm -hmm. so nice ratchet everybody needs a ratchet when they start out we got our handy dandy screwdrivers, which like you said, ain't nobody probably gonna use the flatheads, but we got the Phillips in there as well. So you got three Phillips and four pry bars? Should, no, is that what it is? Well, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite there. You caught me up there. We got our quarter inch ratchet, because normally when you're starting out, you're not doing a whole lot. So quarter inch ratchet is uh, probably do everything you need to do. So we got green in that, along with some pry bars. Now, if we're gonna have a ratchet, and we're gonna have electric ratchet, we gotta have something to put our bolts in, so we got a magnetic tray. And we got a pick set, because you're more than likely gonna drop something or something like that. Yeah, you don't need it. So, just basically start a kit. To, that's really cheap, man. 23 bucks a week. That's right. That is really, really Which cheap. I always tell people they can add more to it. I don't really, I, I always say don't, don't worry about taking stuff out, because you never know what you're gonna really need. But if somebody's just like, look, I really don't need this hammer, and we'll trade it for something else. But I always can add to it. Payment may go up a little bit, but it just well, even with a set of sockets in there, you know, like I would, if that was my kit and I was starting out, I'd buy impact sockets. I wouldn't buy chromes. Well, definitely. And, then, um, chromes, and that way they would double, you know, for a ratchet or an impact. Yeah. So chromes are a lot prettier, of course, but when you're starting out, you're going to need to bust your butt, get it done. Mm -hmm. Definitely go with the uh, impact. Plus, they work either way, ratchet, like you said, ratchet or impact. So I normally throw these in, um, but it seems like the last few starter kits I've done, they always tell me, "Well, I got sockets." So I just yeah. went ahead and threw in the electric ratchet. 
So look, if a guy bought that set just like he got it and throw in the impact set and a set of wrenches, kind of what would it be looking like a week from? Uh, probably about $25 a week. 25 bucks. So you got to think, Maco does a thing to where up to $2,500, your $15 payment. So that there, I think it's a little over three for everything uh, with the tools inside of it. So you're about $23 a week. But you add the socket to the wrench, you're probably going to be about $24, $25 a week. Yeah, oh, man, that's cheap, dude. It is, that's, it that's is. That's a bargain. It really is. So I normally have a sign on it. Um, I had a sign on it this morning. I had a kid that was really interested in it, thought he was going to buy it, so I took my sign off. Uh, but then he got to thinking about, he saw my color, so he's actually going with a different color. So I got to get my sign back up on it. But yeah, it, it draws a lot of attention when, when somebody sees, because you tell somebody to pick out, you know, thousand dollars worth of tools or twenty five hundred dollars worth of tools they think it ain't that much well i like to show them you know you can yeah. you can with that cart with those tools you can start anywhere mm -hmm. as a normal mechanic and be okay yeah especially you throw your wrench your, your sockets and your wrenches in there yeah. that's all you need like if i was going to do that i'd get the impact sockets some extension i go ahead and get impact extensions i wouldn't even get chrome extensions you know, i'm gonna get on there yep. and Man, I'd go make me some money yeah. for 20 Yeah, even if it was $30 a week. Yeah. Here. So what I do do, though, mentioning that, on my 4S boxes, which are smaller than this, of course, uh, I actually do a thing where you get a $1,000 worth of tools for free. I know you've, you've heard that package. Mm -hmm. So I let them pick the tools in. And uh, yeah. so for about $30 a week, they get a bigger box. They get a $1,000 worth of tools for free. And then if they want to add tools, then we'll, we'll add tools to it and, you know, Normally they leave doing about thirty-three dollars a week, Man. and they've got the tools they need, the box they need, and are able to to sustain a steady job and not be overloaded. That's awesome right there, thirty-three bucks a week. Can't beat that. Yeah, it, it all depends on the box you pick out and stuff like that. But we we make deals and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, let me tell you my dilemma. You may have seen the video. I bought the Cornwell flip sockets. Yeah. They don't say anywhere on the box or the case or the tools that they're made in Taiwan. It's got a little bitty fine print right above the barcode on the cardboard wrapper that you're gonna throw away anyway. I was disappointed in that. But yeah. I'm I'm probably gonna do a giveaway on those Cornwell and find me some real steel American Yeah. Well, I understand that. Sockets to replace them with, so. Where's y'all's flip socket made? Ah, uh, don't, don't give me a line. We may be right there with them. Let's see. It says made in the USA. Holy snow, made in the USA. So, I don't know if you buy repo stuff, but this is actually part of a Revo kit, so I can okay. make you a deal on it today. Actually, while we're talking about it, these are repoed. Uh, now, before we get into this, I'm not the asshole that just goes and takes tools. Right. Uh, this this person that actually had this got in trouble with the law and was not going to be able to pick up his payment because when I say in trouble with the law, I'm talking about like jail time for right. some serious time. So we got some wrenches, some pliers. Uh, we got some reducer sets here, and we also got the flip sockets there. Okay. Uh, and we got a socket set there too, a uh, Silver Eagle socket set. So, I don't know if you're looking for any of it, but we got a good price. Well, on all since of them. your sockets are made in the good old USA, I am interested in those. All right. So, wow. There we go. Now then, we got to find an American made extension that'll work with that. You got one of them on here? Well, let me look and see. Man, I'm proud you got an American made flip socket set. I was tore up over it. So this the guy only had these for about two week, two to three weeks. Normally they're 98 bucks. I'm gonna give them to you for 70. So sold. That way you can get a deal on it. Sold, sold, sold. Hey 
How about that, guys? Now we have some good old America. That's just a sharp looking design on that box. So this right here, I was just going to show you. It's also USA. Right there it is on there. So, uh, let's see. Here's the buddy. Normally 32 bucks. Like I said, got that in on the repo, so I'm going to give it to you for right at 25. Still got a lot of time warranty on it, so you're good to go. That'll work. Put it on me. You got anything else new this week? Well. I, it's not new to Maco, but it's new to the truck, and to me that's new, right? Because it ain't been seen. So this is another little set. I really find those handy, like it's working under the dash and yeah. stuff like that. And then there's just some spots that they put something that you cannot get a socket, a screwdriver, a torch bit, or anything on it. So those are new to the truck as well. Um, mm. the, the big thing that we had this week was the socket trays, because we've been getting people to ask us for a while for green socket trays yeah. so the fact that they come out with that plus it has the magnetic end so if you're doing a valve cover or something like that you can just put your bolts right there on the end of it and can yeah. hold them i like that on there um plus it also uh, i know your socket's right there but how many times have you put a socket back on your socket holder and have to look for it again mm -hmm. instead of just sitting it right there on the end See, that's why i got one of those magnetic I like that round right. one. Yeah. And I got a bigger one, and that's what I do. I'll leave it all in that till I'm done, and then I wipe it. Of course, I'm a clean freak, so I wipe <laughs> everything hey, down, and then thing. I put it back in the box. That's not a bad thing. This little pry bar is that one of the repo deals? Too? Yeah, there's a couple of them. Let's see. I say there is. I may have sold those too. That's yeah. So there's size, that right? one there. Yeah, I saw the other one, I remember that. So, they were repoed as well. So, what is those running? Let's look and see. I like them little ones like that. That's about the right size. Let's see, this right here, all it is is a flathead screwdriver with a <laughs> crook in it. Well, there's a little difference, but okay. Save that one for 20. It's normally 46. I'll see this one for 15, it's normally 33. All right, I'll take you. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're gonna wrap this thing up. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down there. It's totally free. It won't cost you a dime. And you guys that's thinking about getting started, find you a Matco dealer and show them this video and tell them to hook you up with a kit like Michael's got. You guys have a great one. We'll catch y'all next time.